Marvel's newest entry to the MCU is here. This is my spoiler review of the Marvels. So if you haven't seen the movie, maybe come back once you have, unless you want the whole movie spoiled for you. Check the description for a chapter time so you can skip ahead to the topics that you're most interested in. Marvels follows up 2019's Captain Marvel movie, which I just did a rewatch review for, and you can watch that video here. It stars Brie Larson, Tiana Paris, and Iman Vellani as Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau, and Miss Marvel. It's directed by Nia DaCosta, who is apparently the youngest director to direct a MCU movie, and also the first black woman to direct one. I love to see it. It follows the three previously mentioned characters as their powers have become entangled and they're trying to stop the Kree from destroying all the worlds that they love. I was surprised by how much I enjoyed the three main characters here. I thought they were all cooler in this movie than they were in any of their previous appearances and their dynamic between them was perfect. Miss Marvel was definitely the standout between them performance wise and her fangirling made her just come across as more of a real person. A lot of the movie's most fun moments were when her or her family were on screen. The location switching fight scenes were a great time throughout the movie, whether they were happening at the Khan household or on some alien planet. It reminded me of the first Avengers movie, the way they were working together and playing off of each other's abilities. The Marvels was a real team. In the opening of the movie, it was fun because they didn't know what was going on and it was chaos. And then later in the movie, it was just cool after they got some practice and they were a well-oiled machine. The scrolls were really cool looking here and their appearances in both of the Marvel's movies, they just look way better than they did in Secret Evasion. But they didn't really do much that was worthwhile and they didn't really acknowledge the events of that show. The Kree were cool here too, even though I wonder why some of them are blue and some are not. The movie did a great job of filling in the blanks on where Carol's been this whole time. She didn't feel like she could come home until she righted her wrongs and mended the relationship between the Kree and the Scrolls. I'm glad they had the Young Avengers set up with Kate Bishop and Miss Marvel at the end, calling back to Fury's appearance in Iron Man years ago with Miss Marvel kinda in that Fury role. And it's about time that they acknowledge that the Young Avengers is going to happen at all. They've been peppering in those characters here and there for a while now. Kate Bishop, Miss Marvel, Cassie Lang, Speed and Wiccan have all popped up. I think they should make that a series, but a movie could be dope too. <laughs> While I loved everything related to the three main characters, it was kind of some of the small things throughout the movie that I didn't like. For instance, the Flurkin eating all the people on Saber to evacuate them. I feel like they just forced a lot of cats into this movie because they know that people love cats. The alien race having to sing to communicate was fun, but it was also a little bit annoying. The best thing to come from that was a new costume for Monica. I also felt like some of the dramatic beats in the movie were kind of rushed. This movie was the shortest one so far in the MCU, so they had time to just linger on those moments just a little bit longer, even if it extended the runtime of the movie. And I know why they chose to use Valkyrie for that scene with the scrolls, but I didn't really care for it and it didn't feel earned to me. It felt kind of awkward, honestly. They did it because Brie Larson and Tessa Mae Thompson's banter on social media a while back led people to believe that their characters might have some sort of relationship, but I had forgotten all about that. I would have rather that been Amelia Clark's Gaia character, and that could have tied into Secret Invasion, brought her character's arc to a close, and taken her off of the board, but now I guess she's still lingering out there with all of those powers. And I also wish Nick Fury was given a little bit more to do, but that's just because I'm a fan of that character. And the mid credit scene with Monica Rambeau was so cool. 
after she closed the rift between realities, we get her waking up on a hospital bed in a new reality, confronted by her mom, Maria Rambo, in full Captain Marvel gear, along with a spot on depiction of Beast from the X-Men, finally. And of course he knows exactly what's happened here and he lets her know all the details. Everything about him was perfect, down to the shade of blue. He looks like a live action version of the Beast from the X-Men cartoons from the 90s. He name checks Professor X so we know he's still alive in this universe, but I'm not sure if this is a whole new universe or it's supposed to be the same one that we saw in Multiverse of Madness. Maria Rambo's uniform is different from that movie, so it leads me to believe that it isn't the same one. And she even has the same gauntlets that Miss Marvel wears in this movie. So maybe it'll be the same universe that the Wolverine from the upcoming Deadpool movie is from, or maybe they'll just all be from different universes. I thought it was gonna wind up being the Fantastic Four that picked her up, but this is just as good, and it could lead to an interesting third Marvel's movie. That's if this winds up getting paid off, I guess. And there wasn't really a post credit scene, we kinda just get cat noises. Speaking of post credit scenes, the last time we saw Captain Marvel before this movie was in the post credit scenes for Shang-Chi, and we don't get any acknowledgement of that scene at all. I'm hoping that a lot of these post credit scenes we've been seeing start getting paid off pretty soon because they're gonna start feeling like a waste of time and not as interesting as they used to. So I enjoyed the Marvels. I thought it was a slight step up from the first one, especially in the fun department. The main characters were all really great and the things that I didn't like weren't really deal breakers. I just wish it let some of the dramatic beats linger so that the audience could feel them. So let me know what you thought of the Marvels, especially that post credit scene. Drop a comment, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video.